Recently, I did a video about the development process of my gravity bending puzzle platformer game Rota and how it took four years from the initial prototype to releasing it on Steam a few months ago. And today, I'm releasing Rota as open source. The repository is hosted on GitHub. If we go right here to my GitHub page, you can see it's pinned at the top. Now this is a Godot 3.5 project. I am using the add-on Godot Steam API created by my friend Samspace. Open that up right here. It is a Godot Steam integration using GD Native. Shout out Sam Murray, yeah, Samspace. <laughs> now you can go ahead and clone the project right here. And once you have the project locally, you can open it up in the Godot editor. And right away, we're going to be at the menu title scene, which is kind of an obscured little mess right here showing everything to see on the first page. You can see it does say demo right here. The project for the final game and the demo are shared right here. And the way that it is determined is by these export templates right here. So there's the Windows, Linux, and Mac desktop exports and there are the demo exports for the very same platforms. Now these demo exports are only using a partial amount of the resources in the full project. As you can see here the source folder is only partially checked as if I collapse the folders correctly right here we can see the map folder does not contain all the maps right there. It only goes up to uh, world 2 dash two and after that they're not included in the project that is really the only difference between the full release and the demo release is which files are included in the project to export the project you simply come down here and click export all release and it will export every single one of these export templates in a row and it will bring it up to the rota export folder test one and it will make a directory for each thing you will have to extract the Mac zips as they do not populate a folder, they populate a zip file by default. And now coming back to the project, we can look at our project hierarchy. We have the add-ons folder which has the Steam API, we have the export folder which contains our exported build from that, and we have the media folder which contains all the media, which is audio, fonts, or images that goes into the game and closing that folder we have the source folder which is pretty much everything that has been created within the engine so all the code all the scenes anything that godot engine is responsible for is in the src folder and looking right here at the map folder we can see the worlds subfolder and that contains all the worlds for the game 0-0 zero -zero is our hub world right here where you connect to every puzzle and if we come over to 3A-2, this is one of the later puzzles in the game. You can see how the level editing process works. I have the solid tile map node right here. You can paint a tile map. You can go to the detail value to change from grass to stone to snow to desert to clouds. And this unused purple texture right back to grass again. If you go ahead and duplicate this tile map, clear it out, and draw some more tiles. I can go ahead and change the detail on this to the stone right here so we can have multiple different tile maps in one scene. And this other node is the spike map where I can draw all the spikes. Now with the project open here, I can edit live. So I'm adding spikes to the spike map. It's spawning in new instances right here. You can see the animated tiles. I can rotate with the A and S keys and place some spikes right there. Another piece of every scene is the actors node and this is the parent to all the children actors. So here's the player. All the details on the levels are set up in a similar way as children of the detail node like these trees and lamp posts. And that's about how simple it is to make a level for Rota. I hope you guys go ahead, download the project, make some new puzzles, 
Feel free to share any modifications you make with me on Twitter at Harmony underscore Honey. Down in the description, we got the link to the GitHub page. Go check out the repository. And I hope someone out there is able to learn something from my code. I know I've learned a lot of things from open source game projects, namely Celeste, the original Pico 8 cartridge by Matty Thorson and Noel Berry. Every Pico 8 cartridge is open source. You can pause the game and peek through the code whenever you like. Uh, from that project, I learned a lot of things about movement, physics, and collision code, especially with pixel art games. And that's actually how I made Tiny Crate right here. Let me show off this shirt. This is uh, Tiny Crate, a game that I made in Godot Engine, and it's been ported to the ZX Spectrum by PC No No Games. And they made this is like the box art for the ZX Spectrum game. <laughs> made a little shirt out of that. And the Godot version of Tiny Crate was very much inspired by the Celeste Pico 8 code and how it works with pixel perfect collisions. So I really hope that the code in Rota could be as helpful as the Celeste code was for me making Tiny Crate. Shout out PC No No Games. I'll link them in the description as well. And please share anything you make with this repository. <laughs> So feel free to be creative, poke through the code, see how it works. You can ask me any questions if you like. My DMs are open on Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I'll catch y'all soon. <laughs> All right, stopping that recording. And I'm going to stop the local recording on OBS.